Many local EMS agencies have struggled to stay staffed up during the pandemic. It is a life and death business, but COVID is making the struggle even worse. Ryan Munoz rode along with Lancaster EMS. It's not just hospitals overwhelmed by COVID-19. EMS agencies are also being put to the test as they deal with increasing public demand. Captain Don Ray has been on the job for over 25 years. From EMT to paramedic, she has seen it all. But the pandemic hit a little differently. It was pretty scary because we were having to, you know, we were concerned whether or not we were going to have enough PPE to be able to cover the employees. We went on a ride along with Lancaster EMS to get a sense of what they're seeing firsthand. And just like that, the calls started coming in. Medic 600. And this is the norm these days, busy running from call to call with little to no downtime. So this is a female that fell from a chair, 60 year old female fell, can't get up, um, awake, breathing and alert. Many calls like this end up with people refusing help. It can be very straining on our system when we're very busy because it could take away from a, an acute emergency versus someone that just can't get up. With COVID-19 still steering the wheel, that's only complicated wait times. There's been a lot of sicker patients of recent and it has just increased our call volume um, on top of already being short staffed. Lancaster EMS is short workers, something that often means they rely on other agencies to pick up their slack. At this point, a lot of us are we're doing a lot of Rob Peter to pay Paul. You know, so we're lucky if we're able to get someone from outside the area that is able to um, come in as a new employee. In fact, hospitals are so backed up that EMS crews often have to wait long periods of time just to transfer the care of patients. In Lancaster, Brian Munoz, ABC 27 News.